Hey everyone, welcome to the Boddington Experience. I'm Brittany Boddington. This week we're in France with French Safaris and Guillaume Rock. We're hunting for sika deer, wild boar, and Pyrian chamois up high in the mountains. Stay with us, it's gonna be a fun one. This episode is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Craig Boddington. Decorated Marine. Award-winning writer. Hunter. Adventurer. He's explored six continents to hunt over 300 species of big game. And he's not done yet. This is The Boddington Experience. For this hunt, we're using the Legendary Arms Model 704 and a 300 Win Mag. We've got the new 3 to 18 loophole scope on here with the adjustable turret. And uh, for this hunt, we're going to have the Hornady full bore 165 grain ammo. And that should be good for whatever we find. So let's give it a shot. So it's nice and early, sun's just coming up. What do you think we should do today? Now we're going to look for a sika and a wild boar. In La Planque we can find some red stag, some fallow deer, some mouflon and roe deer. Okay. To today we'll concentrate on the sika deer and the wild boar. Sounds good, let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Our goal this morning is to find a nice Sika deer. These two here are a little young, but fun to stop and watch. Lots of options here, but I've never hunted a Sika deer before, so we decided to focus our efforts on them. There's a lot of game here. We see lots of mouflon and red stag, but the brush is thick and the terrain is steep, so it's a challenge to spot animals before they spot, hear, or smell us. We decide to find a good vantage point and glass for a while before continuing on. The dry leaves make it sound like we're walking on potato chips, which makes life much more difficult. Guillaume has spotted a really nice Sika. Now it's just a matter of finding an opportunity to take a shot.
This segment was brought to you by Legendary Arms Works. This segment is brought to you by Leupold, America's Optics Authority. The Sika takes off. We decide to rush around and try to cut it off on the other side of the thick woods. There, I stopped. Safe. Look, he's upside down. He's, he's upside down still? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me just get up there. Where's the head? <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe we finally had it come together. Kim, thank you so much for sticking at it. We've been at it all morning, and uh, it just was starting to, I was starting to get pretty down and thinking this is just never gonna come together. And this guy was standing just straight downhill from us and uh, watching us the whole time. But I think he thought that we were too steep above yeah. to even be a, <laughs> a yeah. danger source. Um, and he stood just long enough to get a shot off. Thankfully, the shot went exactly where I put it. And what a beautiful animal. How old do you think this guy is? He's a nice, big, mature yeah, guy. Yeah, he's really like seven, eight years old. Oh, he's awesome. So we give the last bite to the, to the animal, out of respect for the animal. Okay. And then I give to the hunter a branch that I put a little bit of blood of the animal. Okay. And I'm going to give it to you on your hat. <laughs> so that's like honor to the hunter, Andres. Thank you. And then you've got to put it in the back of okay. your cap. And the tradition is you've got to wear this until the next service at church. So everyone knows that uh, you've hunted an animal and everyone's going to respect the animal. And congratulations, Mute. Uh, well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. It's a beautiful tradition, a beautiful animal, and what an amazing hunt. After the success with the Sika, we head out again in the evening to find a wild boar. Here in La Planque, wild boar have caused significant damage to the landscape and the population is booming. There's a pig. Well, we've been looking everywhere for a female pig to shoot because females are the best for management and you guys have a serious pig problem here. Tell me a little bit about, about the problem here. The problem is that the females, they can have two liters a, a year 
and in a litter you can have up to, to 12. That's why we try to concentrate on the female. The pigs, they destroy all the crops, the fields. It worked out perfectly, so thank you very much. It's a pleasure, congratulations. <laughs>
What the neat thing is, is they can come in and they can touch all the animals. We, we ask them not to touch anything behind the yellow chain here because a polar bear and a rhino, uh, a brown bear, those are things that we can't really replace. But everything else inside the trailer, the, the kids can touch. And I uh, had one kid come in one day and says, oh, are they alive? And I think what he meant was, are they real? Because what, you know, when, it's a little bit intimidating for some, for little kids, you know. But once you get them in, they, they realize it's not, you know, it's fake and they can touch it. It's kind of neat. And then the other thing we can do is show the kids that it has a styrofoam uh, inside to it. And then that the, that the hide goes over the top of the styrofoam uh, framework. So it kind of, it kind of, that's kind of a neat thing too. That Explain the kids, how it works. Yeah, exactly. So they understand. Yeah. And then we play games. We say, okay, how many animals in here are carnivores? Oh boy, they come back through and they look at, you know, at each animal and try to figure out, you know, which ones are carnivores and that kind of thing. This segment was brought to you by Craig Boddington Endorsed Outfitters. This episode is brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. We spot a group of chamois on the mountainside. It's just a matter of getting comfortable and glassing to find out if there's a decent one to take. There are two separated from the main group. Jean-Luc suggests that I take the one to the right. Okay, everybody's good. Good shot. Shoot again? Good shot, yes, yes. Shoot? Again. Oh, he's down. He's done. And he's down. Should we go see? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's right here. Ah! Oh my gosh. So cool. Look at that. Congratulations. Yay, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful animal. This is the Pyrian chamois. You can only get them in these mountains. Yeah. How do you say it in French? Isa. Isa. So we've got a Pyrian Isa. <laughs> Let's take a minute to talk about conservation. These chamois are hunted in this area, and it's only this area. Can you tell me a little bit about how hunting you know, affects the population? Yeah, it's very important to keep the population of the Pyrenean chamois down because they can get two diseases. One's called the keratoconjunctivite and one's the pestivirus. And the keratoconjunctivite makes them blind. 
and the pest of virus and kills 80% of the population. So as soon as the population goes up, they get this it disease and they out. die and they wipe them up. So hunting is very important because it keeps the population down and prevents this disease to happen. So we give the last bite to the, to the animal out of respect for the animal. I give to the hunter a branch that I put a little bit of blood of the animal. Okay. And I'm going to give it to you on your hat. Thank Honors you. to the hunter. And congratulations for Thank this beautiful you. animal.